Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty and SFX by Sab. For today's video, we will swatch and review the velvet cream tints of Care Bare Naturals. Yay! If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be updated with my latest uploads. Care Bear Naturals is a local brand and they sell all natural made skincare, base products for the face, and lip products. I like it that their formulations are well done by their licensed formulators and chemists. So they claim that all their products are not just effective but also safe to use. All of their products are paraben and toxic free. Nalaman ko tong Care Bear Naturals kasi I have this Instagram friend, Miss Dani Panganiban. Hi, um, she recommended me this Care Bear Naturals. I did give it a shot. Care Bear Naturals sent me their influencers package and the ones I got were the velvet cream tints. Thank you so much Care Bear Naturals for all of these. Hindi lang ito yung products na ino-offer nila. They also have skincare and a few base products. So if you guys are interested, you can head over to their Shopee, their Facebook, and Instagram accounts. I'll just link everything down below. So let me read the claims of the Velvet Cream Tint. It says here that it is pigmented. It is not long-lasting but when you drink or eat food, it doesn't wipe off easily. It is partnered with FDA licensed manufacturers. It has a sweet classic scent. It's paraben-free, toxic-free, and cruelty-free. It is made of all natural ingredients. They used Korean high-end raw materials for their Velvet Lip Cream Tints. It doesn't emphasize the cracks or lines of the lips. And it is very handy and travel friendly pocket-sized lip cream tints these velvet cream tints are worth 120 pesos they come in four shades we have here two neutrals we have an orangey tone and a red first let's talk about the packaging I like how simple and straight on this packaging is right off the bat you can directly see its shade from its packaging the packaging is sleek and thin unlike yung mga common na tube cases ng liquid lipsticks. Also in the packaging, you can find its shade name, the volume, the precautions, the ingredients, and maganda dahil andito rin yung expiration date. Pag binuksan mo siya, makikita mo yung applicator niya is a regular doe foot applicator. Amoy natin siya. It has a very faint, like super duper faint, sweet scent. So kung medyo sensitive yung pang amoy mo, okay lang to sa'yo kasi hindi naman siya super duper maamoy. Now let's move on to the swatches.
let's try this on the cheek. Ang gagamitin kong shade is Summer Kiss. Let's see if it doesn't ruin my foundation. And let's apply a little on the cheek. Oh, it, ang ganda niya sa pisngi, guys. This is so easy to blend. This shade looks so pretty. It doesn't ruin or move my foundation. Nakaset na to ng powder. Ha. Sobrang smooth niya on the skin. Nakakakinis. This is really a pretty shade as well. Ang ganda nito sa pisngi. Now let's try it with a brush. With a brush. Okay, so kinukuha ng brush yung product. But, ang ganda ng pagka-blend niya. Mas makuha mo full pigment if you don't use a brush. And hindi siya mahirap i-blend. It smoothens out my skin part dito. Ang textured ng skin ko ngayon na. It's really nice. And the shade as well, ang ganda. Natural lang tignan on the cheeks. I'm not sure if it washes out the color sa camera, pero sobrang natural niya on the cheek. This is really nice. Get him very light sa baba. See that? It really did move my foundation. Ang ganda ng blendability niya on the cheeks. It's so smooth and easy to glide. This is 120 and you get this kind of performance. Wow. For my entire thoughts about this velvet cream tints, to be honest, for my first impression, medyo half heart pa ako sa kanya. Kasi parang diluted yung nakuha ko compared dun sa mga regular velvet tints na meron ako. There was slight separation of ingredients doon sa pigment niya nung na-receive ko siya. Nung hindi ko pa siya binubuksan, meron siyang parang mga spaces and gaps in between na para bang hindi siya puno. And nung binuksan ko siya, yung top part niya medyo maliquidy. Kaya feeling ko nung naglagay na ako on the lips, parang diluted siya and it was patchy. So ang ginawa ko, pumunta ako sa page nila just to see if there are extra instructions kung dapat ba i-shake ko siya, dapat bang i-mix ko siya. And nung nanood na ako ng mga video, sabi ko, bakit parang magka iba yung formulation ng kanila dun sa akin or siguro I just had a bad stock. And nung nagtingin ako ng videos ng mga meron na nitong Care Bear Natural sabi ko bakit parang iba yung sa kanila iba rin yung sa akin. Yung formulation ng kanila parang mas creamier than mine. So inisip ko baka bad stock yung nakuha ko or maybe during the shipping process na initan siya or baka nga talaga bad stock nakuha ko I'm not so sure. So hindi ko siya ganun ka nagustuhan ng first impression ko. Pero syempre hindi tayo agad-agad nagpapadala sa first impression. Puso naman ang second chances, so I gave this another shot. What I did before ko muna siya gamitin is shinake ko muna siya and then hinalo ko siya using yung applicator. Talagang halo besh. Para kang nagkakayod from ilalim. And then, hinayaan ko muna siya ng medyo nakabukas for a few minutes. Then, dun na siya gumana. So, I suggest na before nyo muna siyang gamitin, haluin nyo muna siya ng maayos. Para kung sakali yun nga, nung shipping process, eh, medyo nainitan siya or nagka-separation man ng ingredients, mahalo mo muna siya ng maayos. Nung maayos na yung mixture niya, dun na siya talagang nagpasabog sa akin, girl. Super smooth yung application niya on the lips. You can have it na parang light lang, yung parang tint lang, or you can maximize its full opacity by building it up ng hindi rin siya bumibigat sa lips. This is really lightweight. And if you press your lips together, ang mafe-feel mo is parang velvety or parang silicone yung feeling niya sa lips. Once na maset na siya on your lips, it dries down to a matte. Even yung naging application niya on my lips and hindi rin siya patchy, especially nung na-mix ko na siya. It also doesn't emphasize the dry patches of my lips. Hindi rin siya nagsisettle dun sa mga dry areas ng iyong lips. And in fact, it is very hydrating. Itong mga velvet cream tints, hindi siya transfer proof. Itong nagset na to sa lips ko, look. Meron pa rin siyang transfer. And like sa sinabi rin nila sa creams nila, hindi siya long-lasting. Pero of course, pag uminom ka, meron pa rin may iwan on your lips. Pag kumain ka naman, especially if oily yung food, nakakainin mo, mabubura talaga siya. But that's forgivable. Kasi for my personal preference, mas gusto ko rin naman talaga yung nagre-retouch after kumain. Itong shade nila na birthday kiss, ito lang yung nagli-leave ng stain sa lips. So even after ko kumain, meron pa rin ako makikita ang color sa lips ko. Their shade selections are very, very nice and wearable. Okay rin siya for Morenas, but of course, it still depends on your shade preference. Itong dalawang light shades nila, akala ko hindi ko siya magugustuhan. Pero nung trinay ko na siya on the lips, it looks really fresh. Hindi rin siya maputlang tignan. Itong Bare Blossom na shade, it is a dupe for the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Cream Liquid Lip in Perfection. Teka, I'll show you guys. Ayan, so ito yung Victoria's Secret. Tapos ito yung Bare Blossoms. 
magka-shade na magka-shade siya pero ang difference lang is mas thicker ang consistency nung sa Victoria's Secret compared dito sa Care Bear Naturals. And of course, in terms of price point, mas mura di hamak itong sa Care Bear Naturals. If you're looking for a cheaper version itong Victoria's Secret, maganda itong Bear Blossoms. Since I am into multi-use products, gustong gusto ko tong velvet tints kasi you can also use this for the cheeks and also for your eyelids. I am super surprised that these tints work super duper amazing on the cheek as in super duper amazing. Super suave niyang i-blend whether you use your sponge, your fingers, or a brush. Ang ganda ng lapat niya on the cheeks. As in guys, walang kasing suave sa pagka-blend. Super duper easy. In fact, isa to sa mga easiest i-blend on the cheeks. I swear, ang ganda niya. Meron siyang capacity to blur out the texture on my skin. And hindi rin siya nagsisettle sa mga dry areas or dun sa mga areas na talagang may texture sa mukha ko. Very, very even yung lapat niya on the cheeks and it really works well with foundation. Hindi niya ginagalaw yung foundation ko at all. Talagang maganda yung mix niya on my face. Sa halagang 120, guys, hindi ka mabibigo dito. Hinding hindi. For me, maganda yung performance nitong velvet tints. Buti na lang hindi tayo nadadala sa first impression. Ito ay maganda na at affordable pa. Again, thank you so much Care Bear Naturals for sending me this amazing velvet cream tints. Well, that concludes our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sana makatulong itong video na to sa inyo, especially sa pagpili nyo ng shades. If napabili kayo dahil sa video na to, please do tag me on my social media accounts. I'd really love to see you guys wearing these amazing tints. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And please comment down below if you have any other requests that you would want to see here in this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!